What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do a draft here on MTG Arena, your favorite and mine. Hopefully, you guys are getting used to Arena. Hopefully, hopefully we're not so divided. No beat. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Not exploit. Happy one year anniversary. It's been amazing. I'm so happy to support your content. Thank you for all you do. Boner, boner, boner. Triple boner. Three boners. Okay. I will confirm this purchase. This purchase, as the Italians say. Purchase. This pack is actually very, very good. We have a Chillbringer. We have a Rhythm of the Wild. We have a Pestilent Spirit, which is nice. Ray Enraged Ceratok. And a Savage Smash. I think we're taking Rhythm and hoping the Savage Smash comes back. Because maybe it will. It's a, it's a common, right? Why are all the subs for zero months in a row? What does that mean? This one said two months in a row. Last one said 15 months in a row. Super Fritz, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Two months of annoying Frank. May, many more to come, I'm sure. I'm going to take this Rhythm of the Wild. Rhythm of the Wild. The morning light feels like a rhythm of the wild. I think the best card in this pack is probably Mortify. Titanic Brawl is actually very good if we want to keep Rhythm of the Wild. Maybe it's Titanic Brawl. Oh, for zero months? I didn't actually see that. For me, it just says no beats subscribed at tier one. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe you guys are just being babies. Did you ever think about that? Maybe you're just being ab actual babies. I think Titanic Brawl is good enough to stick with over the Mortify. We have to keep Rhythm. This card's actually not too shabby. I might take it over a Scorch Mark because we can probably get other Scorch Marks, but... Twitch is going the way of Moto. We're going to go Holy Pro. Um, let's hope not. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And Collision Colossus is nice. Not going to take any of these cards over it. It's solid removal for some floaty boys. Oh, a Titanic Brawl. is a Grasping Thrall. That's, oh, a Swirling Torrent is worth splashing, I think. Ancient Stirring, three months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, don't do that. All right. Titanic Brawl or just splash the Swirling Torrent. I think Swirling Torrent is worth splashing. And if we don't splash it, that's fine. I also think Carnival Carnage might be worth splashing. I'm going to take the Gate Colossus, though. Gate Colossus is just gas. Plus, we can take all these Guild Gates when we come across them. Like this one. And this one. Oh, is it just worth playing Incubation Incongruity? Maybe. Incongruity is pretty slaughter removal. Ancient Stirring, no worry, buddy. I, I wasn't sure if that was deliberate or not. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, people are going to do it because they think it's funny, but it's actually not funny. You know, and it's actually net uh, obnoxious. But yeah, I don't think you did it on purpose, so no no worries. No worries. Uh, I'm going to take the Guild Gate here. I don't want to go too deep on splashing for cards when I don't have to. Could also be... Simic and splashing these, but all right. Well, keep the Gruel Gill Gates coming, I guess. Eh, Rubble Slinger's fine. Hmm. Okay, first pack is all right. The Savage Savage Stomp, Savage Stirring, Savage Savage. Skewer the critics or Spider? Probably skewer the critics. This pack is not particularly close. And Rampaging Rendhorn is nice. Minister, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Some of us send messages the legit way. Good old-fashioned bitty boys. All right, we're just going to take this Rampaging Rendhorn. Err. Probably Soreform Hybrid. 
probably the premier two drop in the format. Any two drop that just becomes a six six in the late game is pretty nuts. I'm gonna take this gatebreaker ram. If any of these skewer the critics or titanic brawls come back, I will be thrilled. I don't think so, but I will take a gatebreaker ram over a second skewer the critics. I would like a simic guild gate. Give me like two or three simic guild gates and we're good to go. This guy's fine. It's a six six for six. We could take the six five for five. That guy could be good. It's hard to say. Magic's a hard game. I think it's actually this guy, because when we have Rhythm, it's probably going to make our team unblockable more often than not. Upgrade Brigade, thank you so much for the, res the, res the, the regular sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Another Gruel Guild Gate. I'm going to take the Scorch Mark here. We are on four gates right now, which is pretty nice. I'll take Simic Locket. Lockets are cards where I'm like, yeah, I'll take you, I guess. We'll take Actually, I'll take Code of, Con Code of Constraint. Code of Constraint is pretty playable. I would take Sagittar's Volley just to have it, but we already have a Collision Colossus, which is pretty decent at dealing with floaty boys. Uh, I don't think it's Slime Bind. It might just be 4th Gruel Guildgate. It lets us play more Islands, but... I just played out my mini reaper after trading in combat. Why am I so bad at this game? Uh, yesterday, I traded in combat with my hero of Pre-Saint 1. And then I played a Mortify after combat. So it's definitely not just you. That's just it's it, it's that's just human nature. I mean, we get our we get specific plans in our head, or like specific things we want to accomplish first, and so we do that, and then we realize that the the other things we wanted to accomplish could have benefited uh, from our first plan. It's it's really it's really weird. It's just psychological. It's not like it's it's not uncommon, and there's nothing wrong with you. I'll take the slime bind. I don't think we need a fifth Gruel Guild Gate specifically. Eh, Quench is fine. So there are no Celestia Guild Gates, no Boros Guild Gates. There are Azorius Guild Gates if you want to take an Exposed to Daylight and splash it. I don't think we're doing that ever, but okay. Eh, Gross Spiral. Eh, Gross Spiral. Goblin Gathering. So I, I pick up two Goblin Gatherings and two Gross Spirals. Interesting. Multicolored creatures you control get plus one, plus one. We have how many? One, one multicolored creature. Okay. So that's a that's a nope from me, dog. Probably Chillbringer here. It's probably better than Incongruity. I just came here to be entertained. All right, well. My bad. What's the best non-rare first pick in this format? Um... That is a good question. I'm not entirely sure, to be quite honest with you. You like hybrid as a two-drop better than any other? Yeah, well, I, I, it can't off that sarcasm because I actually don't even know what the other green two-drops are. I don't even think there are any other green two-drops, so I see what you're saying there. If that's what you're saying. I'm going to take Chillbringer. Oh, Frenzied Erinx is nice. Ram is good. I don't. I definitely think it's ill-gotten inheritance. I think the card is good. I think you guys were right. I think it, it is decent. I definitely don't think it's as high as you guys are making out to be. Oh, Zerta Goblin's nice. That's a three-three for two. Yeah, I'll take that ever scorch mark. How many creatures do we have? I wish they would just tell you. Why can't it tell me how many creatures I have? Why can't it just say like creatures up here? We have like, yeah, we have like two two drops. Oh, another hybrid. Nice. All right, it's all coming together. We can put this Feral Maka in the sideboard for now. Savage Smash. Yes, please. Our deck's looking pretty good. Get the point. Dang. I would really like another Simic Guild Gate at some point, but. I think Rubble Boat Runner is just fine. It's a 3 3 for 3. 
Uh, our three drops right now are literally just Rubble Slinger and Gate and Gate Breaker Ram. Yes, and nothing and nothing was lost. Perfect. I feel good about five. Uh, oh, let's take a Rubble Belt, Rubble Belt Recluse. How many five drops do we have? Just two. I would really like a, a Mammoth Spider here, but I'll, I'll accept that if we don't get that. Third Tail. I feel like I already got a Solar, but I'll take another Twitch app. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. So this is 27 cards. One, two, three, four, five gates. We need one more playable card. Oh, it's like a third growth spiral. Sure. All right. So it looks like we need one card. What can we add? Two gruel, two five guild gates total, which is pretty nice with uh, ram and gate colossus. Mysterious stranger, what's going on? I'm a fan of your perk. 13 creatures. Let's add another creature. Could just be the 5-2. I'm not thrilled about that, though. That card's pretty pretty poop. Could just be another 2-drop. Which I'm not thrilled about. I would also like to know if there's any cubes coming up. When is the next cube? Like, I feel like this deck is actually very, very good, but it's sad that we're missing a 23rd playable. <laughs> cube. Frank's cube. Just do all the cube commands. We'll figure it out. Um, Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Double gates and a gatebreaker room? Sure. I don't think I've seen the case follow a mysterious stranger. That's amazing. Wow, I'm gonna have to check that out now. I'm gonna have to go and check that out now. That's a Nick Valentine voice. It wasn't very good. Too many times before. What is this ice cube link? What is this? When did this get here? Oh my god, Mike dropping ice. That's gas. Oh, that's gas. What's the temperature today? It feels hotter than usual. Seventy two degrees. Woo. I can't. I can scorch that dude out of existence. Well, that was a good hit. Got him. We didn't really get him yet. It's funny when you say got him, but you didn't really get him. You just put him in position to be got. You're like, I'll get him later. Did we get him? I don't know. We'll get him. I don't have any pump spells, which is really making me sad because this guy is going to really uh, do a number on our, on our Jimmy's next turn. Simony Pot, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the knowledge dropping in laughs. Our sub baby is growing nicely. Really appreciate it. Welcome back four months in a row. I don't actually know what to do here. I'm in an awkward position. 
Can't they just tap one, make the other guy unable to block, and then we're just like, well, this was sad. Alright, you don't have to use in my timeouts. Yeah, you know what? This is fine. If you want to trade with your shark or crab before it's before it's time, I accept. All right. Well, that was actually good. Yeah, that was decent. That was a good deal. Well, we can't stop this guy, so. So many times before, yes, yes. Ever since I didn't watch the Super Bowl, and I don't actually care about football that much, but I heard Maroon Five did the halftime show, and ever since then I've had this Maroon Five song stuck in my head. So, that's my story. That is my Super Bowl tale. Let's just play this guy and keep up. Uh. Whoa, cancel that. Chad Bradbury, 59 months, currently on a 59 month streak, one month to five years. Geez, second longest relationship in my life. <laughs> Chad, I'm glad we could go through it together, buddy. You should come back to Florida so I can I can buy you some Magianos. Whoa, this this chair is not there we go. That's better. I was like, this is not locked into where we need to be. I'm probably just going to scorch mark this dude because that's the best use of mana. Actually, we're probably going to attack here, right? I don't have to scorch mark just yet. Just you wait. Actually, this guy's a 5-5? Five five? Ugh, biscuits. I can't even deal with this 5-5. Five five. Monk HB. Currently stuck on a plane feeling sick. This is my punishment for not telling you I'd be in Florida. I agree with you. You had this coming. Check two. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I'm not sure if you guys are actually resubbing right now or if they're just popping right now. This is the question I have to ask myself. So if you go block here. This costs three. One, two. Oh, you played a guild gate, sure. If you go block here, you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're basically dead, right? Yeah, and then we play this and you're dead. All right. Why are these blinking? Is that is that what trample looks like? Um No blocks. Huh. This is a fascinating choice. Denmark, what's going on? I bet you wouldn't even have those chair problems if you ban a Herman ban a Herman Miller. Uh huh. Okay. Well. And that's the end. Trample is the blinkiest of abilities. You are not wrong. I think of Trample as Blinky too. Yeah, same. I don't see any, any sideboarding necessities here. Oh, this is a good one. This is a solid hand. If we can draw literal six lands in a row, we can go uh, two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop, six drop. Keep. Snap keep. Keep that guy too. That's a nose. My nose is itching. I'm not thrilled about it. Yeah, we're just gonna go turn three rhythm, followed by guys. rhythm of the night. Eyes. His eyes were everywhere.
There's a little scrying of the night. There's until the morning has the rhythm of the scry. And the sky is all the night. You got it. Let's do a counter. If we go a land, this guy can be a 6-5 Haster or a 7-6 with Trampy Boys. 7-6 with Trampy Boys. I don't know what that means. Eyes are reminds me of Bloodborne. I have not played very much of Bloodborne. I think I've tried it for about 15 minutes and I was like, nah, this is too much. You got it, Sharked Crab. Well, that's not what we're looking for here. That's unfortunate. Try playing 15 minutes of getting over it. You'll reevaluate the meaning of too much. <laughs> yeah, I bet compared to compared to Bloodborne, getting over it's probably just miserable to play for 15 minutes. Oh, that's a bit. That's a big one. Okay, so I mean, not being able to play spells is rough, but you have a 15. You have 10 power on the board right now, so. Yikes. They could also go like one, two, three, four, five, six, exchange control. And then they still have six mana to play another guy. Yeah, this is actually pretty rough, surprisingly. And, oh, they're taking Rhythm of the Wild. That's interesting. This is just creatures, right? Dang. I'll, uh, bouncing both these guys is pretty good, though. Although they, they, they can go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then tap two more. To, they can play both on the same turn. But we get 14 damage in, which is a lot. One, two, three, four, five. I really don't want this guy on the top. Well, I guess we're going to see what happens with this guy. Because we have to. They probably just take seven here. Interesting. So in response, they... This guy doesn't have haste, though, right? Did he just come into play? Did they just play this guy last turn? I can't... Yes. Okay, so cool. That actually puts us in pretty good position, I think. Because if we draw land, actually, it's pretty great for us. Zubba da rhythm of the night. Zubba da da da. Zubba rhythm of the night. Dit dit. And the rhythm of the night. 
It's a lot of creatures that you're able to play because all your lands produce twice as much. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Mm, still not lethal. And they still get haste when they come back, so. Fascinating. Yep, gotta find an answer to that guy because otherwise they just... Can we just switch? Hmm. Oh, you can only use it when you can ask it when you, when you can use a sorcery. Yikes. Yikes. That is a yikes from me, dog. So I have to do it now? If I steal this, they can just get it back, right? And then it has haste. Does it have haste forever? God, that's brutal. I think we're dead to this. Oh, it's expert for monoclone, so I can't even choose this guy. We can steal the spider. I mean, they could just switch it back, and then we have no blocks. So, if they can see that line, <laughs> good, good, you know, they they get to then they get to do it. But yep, they look. They saw it. I don't know why you're playing things. I'm tapped out. Just kill me, dude. <laughs> like, oh my god. Just learn when the game is over. Okay. Um. Again, would love a green a green way to deal with enchantments. Really, really would be nice. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is even worse. Let's go to let's go to five. Let's mulligan to five cards. I feel good about our odds of winning this game. When we go to five cards. You know what? Now you gotta go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Wow, must be nice. Must be nice. Must be the nicest. Basic mountain, huh? Hmm. Spider was monocolored. What's your point? Oh, it was. Yeah, so they didn't even actually have to. That's a good point. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't end up mattering. So, like, yeah, it couldn't block anyway. Oh, it's hexproof from monocolored. Okay, cool. Yeah, so then it does matter. All right. Well, this game is this game is an emotional roller coaster right here. Yep. Keep the lands coming. Yeah, I should have waited then. I should have waited. Is there a point to think I'm just bluffing? No. There is no point to think I'm just bluffing, I guess.
sure. I'm trying to post this on Facebook. Give me one second, guys. There we go. Pass to attackers. Do they have a pump spell is the question. I mean, I think we're dead here. Like we have, we have no real, like they can just tap the, they can activate shark to grab and tap this guy down. We have no profitable blocks. Oh, they're thinking of like playing Stony on this guy to trade, which I would 100% do if I were them, but. No, I wouldn't actually. That's weird, right? Like I'm tapped out. You could just win the game, right? Don't you just activate this and pump this guy and then you have 11 on board? Okay, so there you go. You can still win the game. All right, now you did it correctly. You did it correctly. Nexus of Fate is actually miserable and standard. The combination of Nexus of Fate and Search for Ascanta, uh has led to... I don't even play that much standard, but I'll, there's been a lot of standard games I've played where it was just a miserable combination. You're going to put me to one... But you have a Sharkdo Crab. Why? 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 What? Part the Water Veil and Temporal Mastery didn't shuffle themselves back into your library and then allow you to search... I don't... like. That's not even a fair comparison. That's like that's the most disingenuous comparison I've ever heard. Those cards do not do the same thing. Beacon of Tomorrow's is the only one that shuffled itself back into your library, right? Unranked draft? I, I don't know. I just did traditional Ravnica draft. Um... Those cards, yeah, those cards are also all sorceries. Every single one of those is a sorcery. Like, that's just an unfair comparison that you're making. None of these other blue time walk cards that were completely different than this one ever had were a problem. Well, right, but they're completely different. They also didn't have Search for Ascanta in the format, which meant you can activate your Search for Ascanta, search for one of your four time walks, and then do it all over again. Just keep doing it every single turn. So you're looking at six cards, and you never have fewer than four time walks in your deck ever at any point. Like it's just a not a. It's just a really, it's a it's it's a really bad faith argument that you're making. You can see so, you can see another thing as a bigger problem. That doesn't mean one other the other thing isn't a problem. Like, you're welcome to see red as a larger problem, but like, if I have two problems, one is very big and one is moderately big, like they're still both problems. You don't have to only see one problem. Oh yeah, yeah, last night I literally had a 40 minute match where I just like auto passed all my turns and I just made them win. With Nexus of Fate and like Dawn of Hope making a token every turn. And I was like at 30 life. And I'm just like, alright, here, win. Like they had four Wilderness Reclamation wild reclamation of the Wild triggers or whatever. And it was just like, alright, do what you gotta do, man. You knock yourself out. I actually didn't even look at the mana base of this deck. I just actually just rolled it normally. So we're gonna have to check that after this. If we, if we don't die. 
Yeah, and I was like, if this is Magic Online, you'd be timing out right now, for sure. <laughs> but because it's Arena, we each get an equal amount of time, even though you're doing things that are far more obnoxious than I am, so... Well, that is an enchantment that the colors I am playing, all three of them, have no way to deal with. Well, that's nice, because it does let us cast both of these, but... My favorite archetype in RNA, I think I like I like Orzhov a lot. Um, I'm not sure if it's my favorite, but I think it might be. I don't think anyone forgot Hazret and Bowmaker. I don't know what that has to do with like I don't know what that has to do with Nexus of Fate. Like you can dislike two things at the same time. It's like that guy who's like, oh man, I just lost a million dollars in the stock market. Well, then the other guy's like, well, I just lost two million, so don't even complain to me. And I'm like, yes, but the guy who lost a million, it's still an issue. Like, you're making it sound like if there's one bigger issue ever in the history of Magic, there can't be a second large issue. I don't understand the, the tone of the conversation. It's kind of strange to me. One Chillbringer to bind them all. The board state isn't terminal if they don't have four Nexus of Fate in their deck, along with, <laughs> along with four like multiple Search for Escantas and Wilderness Reclamations. Like, it's not a terminal board state. It's literally the board state has nothing on there. That's the point. The point is Nexus of Fate turns a board state with nothing on it into a terminal board state because you simply have four Nexus of Fate in your deck. Like, I think you're trying to sound more intellectual than, you, than than the argument actually is. It's not an intellectual argument where you're like, well, the, you're not recognizing a terminal board state. Well, it's not a terminal board state. It's literally just they had 13 lands in play. <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's just not the same. That's like me being like, the problem with red decks is that you're not recognizing the terminal board state when they have Hazaret and Bomat Courier on it. Well, right. But if you take away those two cards, it's no longer a terminal board state, right? Like, I mean, it doesn't even make any sense. Wait, what? Oh, we got to pay two? Yeah, I don't care about all that. I'll just pay this guy. So, so here's the thing. I guess what I'm trying to say... I'll, 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 is that I've played against probably a similar similar number of red decks and a similar number of Nexus of Fate decks, and I always have a less fun time playing against the Nexus of Fate decks, and I also feel like I'm considerably farther behind against the Nexus of Fate decks. Has Nexus been an issue on cover yet? Well, no, but because they don't, that's because they don't have there there, there is no coverage. What's a coverage? Oh. Summoning around the night, as a bed 
what I oh, God, I hate this. Why is this song stuck in my head? Well, I guess we're just attacking with old Chili Boy. See, now we're talking. Now we got a thing that we're talking about here. You just block here, block here, block here, right? But then you lose two guys. I think this is fine. Neon Tokyo, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Seven months in a row. Yep. Oh, it has trample, though. That's actually pretty good. Get an extra couple points in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you dead if this happens. Don't let this happen. Well, you don't have any creatures, but that's good if you get some. And as of right now, I guess you can just uh, pop the old, pop your inheritance. If we ban basic island, will people just flock to snow-covered island? Yeah. Oh, 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 no. Oh, I was going to look at my mana base. Does that mean they're calling you dad? And when they pop it, that means they wasted their... I don't know if they wasted it. I think they just spent it. You don't know if they wasted it, you know, because they could have gotten a lot of value out of it. I don't want to say what their, what, their, uh, what their appreciation for their own inheritance use was, you know. What's a pumplin? My chat pumplins? I don't know what that means. Okay. That is not the noise this cat would make. I'm sorry. That's lazy. 
My problem, one of my issues with Arena is that, like, it suffers from the traditional Watsy like laziness. That's like, I mean, if you had, like, let's look at Hearthstone, for example, right? I don't think any of the emotes, any of the any of the creatures in Hearthstone, any of the minions, have the same emote. Not one of them, right? I think it's because that would be kind of cheap, right? Meanwhile, like, this cat, which is not even the same, has the same as, like, the the one two with that draws you a card what's that a generous stray like feral maka and generous stray are completely different cats right like they they're completely different species of cats yet they sound exactly the same and that's kind of weird <laughs> small indie companies yeah i know it's, it's true that their budgets are small so i don't really want to i don't want to pick on too much but you know i just get to a point where i'm just like eh, maybe you could do a little better Maybe it's not that hard to get another another cat sound bite in here. Uh, Hearthstone does have fewer cards, sure. Um, that being said, Blizzard also has infinite other projects as well. So maybe like, I don't know, where Wizards just makes magic. I don't know. Does Wizards make D and D or does Hasbro? I think it's I think Wizards. Maybe Wizards makes D and D too. In before people are like, actually, they make Kaijudo and Transformers, and they make, uh, really? Wow, that was the rudest thing you could have possibly done. I'm not asking for perfection. I'm just literally asking for, like, maybe just a little bit more. Just a little bit. No blocks. Dang. Well, they are from the coast. That's a good point. I didn't consider that. Oh, that Nicol Bolas breathing fire animation tilts me so much, man. Why, because it's just a dragon? Okay. Well, as long as that makes sense for you. This is where like we block, we pump, and then they flip it. They put it on its little flippy face. Oh, they did not do that. I'm gonna risk a second summary judgment. Yeah, there's no way around that. Sorry, wait, what? That was my last creature, so it had to go, I guess.
<laughs> Got him. But you did not get him. That is correct. I did not get them. All right, we can just trade back and forth like this all day. Well. So this is going to be nine mana, so I'm not really in the business of adding an extra... No, no reason to play the land. We, if we go to 10, then we draw another, it's 11. So we'd have to draw two lands, then we'll start playing them out. Let's go to the attacker's phase. So this guy has afterlife, but this guy pumps all the other dudes. Oh, they just didn't have anything to block our guys next turn? That's great. That's great. Magic is cool. Alright, let's check out our mana base. Give me them prizes. Okay, so four blue sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten, eight, four, actually. It's not terrible. That's it. Let's go nine nine. Nine nine four. That seems good. Or right, one win. God, I thought we read multiple wins by now. Is this the same? Is the say is the prize for zero and one the same? Two packs versus one pack. Okay. I will play first. Yeah, this is this is great. Oh yeah, we're actually just gonna play this on three and then follow it up with uh, Zerta Goblin. Oh, if we hit one more land, we can go Zerta Goblin and Hybrid, Hybrid on the next turn. That's pretty good. Four four and a three three. Oh no. Still good. We'll play it on turn five along with this guy, and then we can just straight up whirling, swirling torrent. This deck seems good. Land, untap land. Oh god, that was good. Uh counter. Counter. Tempted to not give this guy a counter, actually. This guy's almost worse with a counter because then you get to you don't get to adapt. So I kind of just want to haste him. Maybe we just attack? Hmm. 
I mean, it's a fair trade. I can get down with some wings for sure. We are, what is going on in this chat? Wings are good. I like boneless wings. No counterino is right. Oh, but look, well, then we lose anyway. There's no justice in the world. Hmm. I don't like the idea of trading here. <laughs> Boneless wings are called... Actually, Chicken McNuggets are a trademark property of the McDonald's Corporation, so they're actually not called that. Get wrecked. I don't see attacking here as being great. Did we get did we get punished? <laughs> oh yeah, I think we did actually. I didn't want to admit it, but yes, I think that is correct. I really don't want to actually bounce this guy, then it just gets to shoot something else, but I don't know. Maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine, you know, maybe that's just life. You made this game, this is your fault. Yeah, I agree. I take the blame. I don't feel good about it, but I'll do it. Oh, this every every time someone plays this card, I'm like, excellent. Excellent. And I just cast a dagger caster. That's brutal. If this guy's a 5-5, five five, it's a 2 for 1 for sure, right? No matter how how they block, there's no way they can block that's They can just block with this guy and this guy in the game, too. Alright. Don't have plus one in first strike. I will cry. This is our life now. I think this card is actually fine. I just don't like it. Does that make sense? Oh, that's okay. Let's do the damage. All right. Hmm. Same. I feel like we're in okay shape here. I need you on the Spring Monday after I ran out of your new videos. How am I? At, how are you adding new videos? There's two a day. That's unbelievable, man. Fascinating.
Oh, that was terrible. We should have put this one in hand. Now we're not attacking. Oh, gross. That was so bad. I forgot I had flash. Oh, they didn't they didn't play it anyway. Okay. Well. I guess because it's just a great blocker for this guy, maybe. That was just a This is the first time that card has actually been just detrimental for us. I'm like, oh, here, let me just give you a bunch of new stuff that's really, really good. You have one mana up? Making this a 7-7 seven, seven is actually real strong. They can still double block it. See if dad can be disappointed now. Wow. Oh, uh, this is actually pretty sweet because now we have two six sixes and they have to double block one of them. And one of them has big tramps. Oh, that's good. Block that trampler. Three, four. So you take you take eight here. Oh, this is this is where you want to be, ladies and gentlemen. This is where this is where the magic happens. All right, so. Yeah, I'm pretty much alright with all of this. <sighs> arena is where magic happens. That's true. That's why we play it on Arena. Uh, Mike actually likely is still sleeping. I imagine he'll be up in about five minutes. He'll get ready in about ten and then drive to work. That's usually how it goes. Less, let me get a little less Snorlax, a little more Pikachu, buddy. I don't think this hand is terrible. It could be. Oh, now it's just so much better. Oh, Illusion's done a GG again. Wow, I thought we just, I thought we literally just popped this the other day. They're probably just going to play Mage here. Or Hybrid, rather. I don't know, I said Mage. What was I thinking, what was I thinking Mage for?
Rob, when are you coming over for some uh, for some sweet new some sweet stream action, buddy? Old man Silver with the tier one sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm not going to attack here because both of your guys are better than mine. So you have no incentive to block, and then I'll just take five back. Like, you could scorch mark this guy and come in for five. That sucks. But you didn't, so I'm okay. Oh, it's got menace. I was like, yeah, why would you attack with this guy? I don't understand. Uh, I did not hop on the Kingdom Hearts train, no. I, I never really played through the first ones, so I had no reason to really get hyped about the third one. Well, that's pretty good. I don't feel like we have any profitable attacks here, unfortunately. Give me a heads up when you're coming over. I want to be sure to, I'm here to get you some pop. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, I'm in. I don't want to attack. I don't want to trade with the Grulian. Grulian? Grudian? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do all that. So I'm just going to have to hope my board and your board and my cards are better than your cards. All these things. Discard a card. Joke's on you, buddy. I got cards for days. Didn't they just play the... Oh, this guy cost one. I was like, didn't they just play this? So there's a leaf right here and right here, and I thought something was on my monitor because I was like, why is that in front of the power and toughness? That's weird. I like that you can watch Twitch, but you can't watch the content filter. Or through. You're like, I can open Twitch, I just can't open Twitch clips. They're a bunch of little dirtily creatures. They're not really that great, but... Yeah, I'll discard this mountain. We're at a point where we can probably cast everything we draw, so that's okay. The Mike Arnold with 23 months. Wow, that's like almost two years, Mike. So we could play this. We could just play this and then make them use this next turn, and then we can actually cast this on something. Or we can actually just pump this guy. They block here. I think this is a fine attack. They have two cards in their hand. Sure.
Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, I'm just going to keep discard. Yeah, that's fine. Resolve it. I've come to talk to you again. Don't have Scorch Market. Oh, they didn't have it. All right. Well. So here's a problem. If we draw a six drop, I guess we can hold this, right? Now they just block with Grudian. It doesn't seem as good. Do I want to cast this? I don't even know. Like, just being able to have... Like, if they have Scorch Mark and they try to kill our Flyer, we can kill this in response, which is pretty good. I think we're just going to hold on to it. Because like, this wins us in two turns. It wins us in two turns. That's what I said. You heard me. It wins us in two turns, it does. And then we wait. Yeah, so if we if we give them a frog, they can't block it. With they can't block this guy with it, so. Planeswalker Academy, thank you so much, Three Sub. As always, thanks for the content. The wife and I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. They are taking their time. Resolve. Does that do anything? That just wins us the game, right? So I just got a YouTube comment that said, Hey Frank, just to let you know you're not crazy, I did the math. The odds of not drawing one of 10 green sources in a 40 card deck with 13 cards, which is how many you had seen by the end, is 0.995% or less than 1 in 100. I think we were all astonished intuitively, but when, it, when, it, when one attaches a number to it is when we realize it's even more, that's ridiculous. We realize even more, that's ridiculous. Yeah, okay. I agree. I agree. Indeed ridiculous. Badger with eight months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I will keep this hand. Any one land and we're in, in good shape here. Oh, God. The most famous last words ever, right? He only needs one land. What could go wrong? Oh, here we go. We have four gates in the deck, so the odds of hitting a gate next turn are probably like a thousand percent, I think. Oh god, how many lands are you going to hit? Three lands. All right, now we're talking. Don't quench this. Nice. There's a 99% chance of not drawing lines. We got one, it's okay, we got one. That's all we're gonna get, but it's still one. So we can get this a 4-4, four, four. that doesn't do much. We can actually skewer this guy. We 
We can also just shoot this guy because it doesn't. Uh, no blocks. Rent done. <laughs> Badger, buddy, thank you so much, man. You are awesome, dude. Really appreciate it. And then March rent was in the books. All right, we are we are good for March. So now we're going to do something a little controversial. Not controversial, uh, a little more, a little different, I want to say. Uh, we're going to do Draft Boys. Elk Tears, otherwise known as Matt, uh, is going to come visit so long as we can help him with the plane ticket and um then we're gonna both be on stream and you're gonna, you're gonna get a matthew matthew frank stream they they don't have three they only have three lands as well so i'm not this time was actually pretty good so now we're just gonna make it a much smaller goal Goals. Donation goal. Planeswalker. Hmm. So he's looking at end of February. So we'll say two slash zero two slash twenty eight slash twenty nineteen. Okay. We'll say three fifty total for flight and food and all that nonsense. So. Uh, let me actually. I wish I could change the. Uh, visits. This is the one thing I don't like about Arena is that I, it's hard to do this stuff. Okay, well, we didn't draw land, so I guess we'll just play this guy. Put counter on you. Oh, we should have attacked Dovin Bon, because that's how you do it. Pay for Frank's flight to an SCG. What? I'll visit for chicken and gas money. What is even going on? Oh, uh, Lafof actually had to bail because Lafof is actually going to. Uh, he had a he had a job come up like right before. Let's get it started. Wow, Badger. <laughs> Badger, what do you do for a living, man? God, I feel like I'm just... I'm taking all your disposable income and I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel insanely... Uh, what's what I'm looking for? Appreciative. First to start the drip. Oh, second. Second. Still very, very good. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. It's too bad Matt's not here to see this in action. Oh, it's actually cutting off the thing, too. That's really sad. I'm going to have to rework it so that it doesn't look like that. This guy has double riot. Yeah, we'll do one of these and one of these. And then we'll do one of these all attack jobbies. So it looks like S-T-R-E... S-T-R-E-A-M. It's about three letters. I guess I could just take the word draft boy out, right? Yeah, let's do that. Yep, that looks better. Okay, cool. And that should be game. No blocks. Honey's Joker, thank you so much for the sub, too. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Wow. We're having a good time. Everybody's having a good time. Some people are having a better time than others. I don't know what's a board here. 
if anything. I don't think anything. I think we're fine. What do we see? We saw Dovin. We saw Wall. For the Elk Tears, hope you have a good trip, bud. Me too. Me too. He's not even here right now. I'm going to yell at him right now, actually. Can I be honorary draft boy? I think so. Hold on. <laughs> so I just I sent him a message so he knows. All right. Yeah, we can just submit like this. I don't really think our sideboard is that good. Where'd the donations go? Where'd they go? Oh, you're right. Ah, dang it. That's my bad. Okay, hold on. I have to figure out how much we, we have so far. Okay, it looks like... One forty five seventy two. Okay. Sorry about that. When I when the only way to there's no way to edit the goal. You just have to end it and then do it over. And when you end it, it removes all the donations. So I was just like, oh, I forgot about that. Cool, cool, cool. So we were already at one forty five seventy two. That's pretty sweet. I'm not here, by the way. Please ignore. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Frank, I'm not here, by the I don't even know what's going on. All right. So we have two two drops. I think we just played two drop into two drop. And then into four drop. I see. Well, then. I was a human lizard warrior once. Did we, just, we just haste this guy for once and actually attack for like a lot. For seven. What are they at? They're at 18. I don't think I've ever hasted this guy because the board state is usually not in such a position that allows us to, but... Yeah, that's fine. Do not fret about my disposable income. It is disposable for reason. I appreciate it. Your disposable income is my actual income, so it's a works. It's a good way to work out. Um, we can just play a runner here and Zerta as a three-three, and then next turn we can swirling. Because I don't want—I don't want to feel like dealing with six-six junk troller. Like I'm always super grateful when people appreciate the content enough to donate or subscribe or support it in those ways. Um, it's just a matter of, like it's this, I, there's these moments for me where I'm just like, are you sure it's like that? Do you appreciate it that much? Like, is it is it that useful for you? Like, I, it's hard for me to sometimes accept that it is, you know. we kill them here so we savage smash on something right and it doesn't kill this right but it does deal like five damage so it has one damage on it and then whatever we use this on gets trample Vili, can i also be a virtual draft boy yes i think yes i i, I think there should be a thing where like <laughs> you guys all become draft boys after a certain amount so we're just gonna attack with everybody just to keep it a little off for the OCD people. Oh, that's, yeah, that's no good. That's no good. All right, well, uh, okay, so you're blocking here. This actually just kills you. This is actually lethal by one. You got a negative one here, if you don't have an answer. Oh, that's actually, I mean, that's still, that's actually, is this Xaxes now? Perfect. Let's see them draft boys. Aaron Moore, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Wow. Oh, I didn't actually think this was gonna. Uh, I didn't think we were gonna hit this in one day. I'll be honest with you guys. That's uh, that's a little something. Uh, 
I'm trying to. Yep, no response for Matt yet. He might just be at work. He might be working or doing something else. I don't know. He might be making egg salad or eating hungry howies. <laughs> That's right. Less than forty dollars away. That's gas, dude. You guys are amazing. Well, I'll probably be buying his ticket tonight. I guess. Oh, Cassius, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. You're <laughs> like, uh, that was me, by the way. Good to know. People, this is the second time someone asked me not ranked. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Like, I just do the traditional Ravnica draft. Like, that's all I'd share. I just pick that one. Because it's best of three in its draft. Is there like a ranked draft that I'm not doing that's the same kind of format? Tell him he doesn't need a job anymore. The stream can support him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. The ranks are best of one, right? Like, why would I want to play best of one? I was just like, what, what? Best of one? Yeah, I knew that I knew about the the end of season rewards for tier progression. I knew that. Like I know that, but like I'd rather not play best of one for content reasons because it's just bad. Billy with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, best of one, no bueno. More like worst of one, am I right? Sure. <laughs> I will block the O3. That was a weird that was a weird decision because if I have a pump spell like it just kills this guy like spicy jalapeno with the reset more bong time while I crack some packs but as always love what you do appreciate it buddy I will play an 8-8 so I don't want you to block here actually maybe I don't care I don't want to trade but I will actually uh Okay. What's happening right now? Oh, just you're you're with the triple triple notification. I got gotcha. you. Seems good. They can finally attack with their skittereel. Like you do. Well, between slime bind and deputy of detention, this game took a turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. All right. So, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Well. I want to be like, too late. Hold on, I'm going to show a picture of this so that he knows what he's missing. All right. Amazing how fast we donate for this compared to <laughs> rent money. You're like, oh, Frank needs a place to live? Well, that's too bad. I was going to play this so I could play around Quench, but they didn't have a Quench, so I guess we're fine. There's a lot going on. Don't call him on speakerphone. He said he's commuting now, so he might be in the subway. If you need to move, then you can just come out here. Well, I might I might just come up there anyway. This is three slime binds? No, it's, it's two slime binds and one fairy duelist. Not, not exactly the same, but it's close. Man, I really wish I had this 
this dagger caster back with all these one ones. Um. Yeah, it's block here. This guy's dead anyway, so. Not sure where this is going, but I wanted to be the first this time. 711. Let's do 711 for actually what? 10 1087 over. All right, I'll just change the goal again. Man, this has been a Wow, double deputy of attention. What do they Oh, they just copied it. Sure. Uh, click both, please. Target creature on top of the owner's library. We'll get rid of the skitter eel. And we'll just bounce that to your hand. What do we got? Ten eighty-seven. All right. This is just gonna be April rent now. You just, you just crushed that goal immediately. That was that was insane. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Elk Tears is looking to be here at the beginning of March for about three or four days. And we're going to be streaming probably like a bunch of times, so. Uh, 1087, is that right? 76. Yes, that is correct. So we'll say what? Zero three thirty one. Cool. Wow, I can't believe you guys I can't believe you guys did that. They have no cards in hand? Well this is pretty good. Alright, so we probably just want to pump this guy. If only we had more mana we can actually play. The problem is I switched mics, so I don't have a shotgun mic anymore that can pick up multiple people. I only have, like, two of the, the nice, like, sure mics. So it's actually harder to get multiple people on stream. And I, I feel more comfortable with just two people because I feel like that's kind of, like, the limit. I'm just going to play a 6-6 six, six here. I like the ability to, like, pump our guys. Um, but... Or it's even my guys unblockable, but I think I'd rather just have two six sixes on board. I smashed together Venture Stonehorn deck that Chester Creek can absolutely tear apart. Please do that. Badger, send it to me. I will totally take a look at it this week sometime if you want. And I still have Travis, I still have your deck with uh with doubling season in the queue as well. Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, Elk Tears. Matt, we actually, uh, we, we put it at 350 and we crushed it, so. It, it was done within, like, 20 minutes. So, uh, what are we doing? 1-1 one, one counter here. I mean, the thing is, if you want to double block here, it's totally fine with me. What? Wait, what the hell? Well, this is definitely worse. Wow, I would have rather double blocked the 5-5 five five and actually had a thing, but... Yep, that's pretty rough. Hopefully you just drew nothing. Nope, you drew... Um, nah, yep. Why is it we have to pay for Elk Tears Fly, but Mike and Soul Mike have to fly on their own dime every time they want to be on stream? It's a good question. We could do like a... Well, so so Mike's flight is actually pretty short. It's just from his room to here. Um, So I feel bad about like making a whole donation goal for it. Um, Whereas Swole Mike actually probably could... We probably could take a flight from, uh, from his house to here. It would probably be in a small... Uh, like a... What's up? What's up? What are the small planes that you just you just get in and fly them? Swell my gas fund like ten bucks. A, I mean, you guys buy him food when he's here. Like you either get him pop pies or hungry howies like every time he's here. So it's not like he's like getting nothing out of it, right? He's like eating. The dude's eating well. I was gonna say a prop plane. Yeah, is that just a propeller plane? I don't know how planes work. 
I just work here, guys. Yeah, I feel like if we didn't just pass our whole turn uh, without playing the second 3-3, we probably would have had a different game there. But... And that's the way the news goes. Oh yes, no quench. Good to go. I can't tell if a 3-3 is smart because they can just pump this guy to make it a 3-4, but that means they're not attacking, right? I got the last whole chickens. <laughs> I think Billy actually said, like, whenever you get there, I'll get you some pot pies. And he put it in quotes. So it's not actually going to be pot pies, I bet. I do like their pot pies, though, just to be clear. This is how we're gonna be. We're gonna be aggressive here. The goblin looks stupid. So what does that mean? Was just for casual play with friends. Okay. Friends don't let friends blink stonehorn dignitaries. Though that's all I have to say. My only issue with this is that like. There's a lot of decks in modern that don't attack, so we have to like take that into consideration. Let's make a new mod RNA Vencer Stonehorn RPG Badger. Okay. Huh. A thousand mana. They're 4-4. Four, four. I'm just going to haste all the things. And I'm sure you have some... <laughs> 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're not dead. 11, 12, 13. Guess I should have played around Mythic into Uncommon. Oh, well, we got our entry back. Rampage. How do I not have four of that card yet? Oh, 20 gems. I really don't like this. I think if you have a fifth, like, they should just be a wild card. I really don't see why they don't just make a wild card. Like, you're not getting a rare. Like, I just opened a pack without a rare, right? I could have sworn that was my fourth Ravager Worm, but all right. I think it was, I guess that, or my fifth Ravager Worm, but I'll take it, I guess. Like, this is just a pack without a rare, right? 20 gems is not the equivalent of a rare, right? Am I just, is it just opening packs without rares? If a draft is 1,500 gems, right? So it'd be what, times five? No, that's not right. Divided by five. You need 300 of these to, come, to, to, to actually be the value of like one draft. So instead of getting a rare, I got one tenth of a pack. Why don't they just give you a rare wild card instead? Hey, if you have this rare, if you were going to open this rare and it's not the rare, like you already have it, why can't they A, give you a different rare like Hearthstone does or just give you a rare wild card so it can be any rare? I don't know. 20 gems seems like nothing. That's, that's kind of frustrating. Either way, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. Don't go anywhere. But if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on uh, Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. Along with meandies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And I'll catch you guys next time on the flippity flop.
Thanks for watching.